Hi gamers! If you don't know what this is, this is the Engage by Nokia, a phone slash gaming machine from back in the day when Game Boy Advance ruled the roost. Nokia thought that uh, they had what it takes to break into the gaming market, so may they made this hybrid. Uh, sadly, it is uh, a phone foremost and uh, uh, gaming machine second as you can see from the design choices here and it, it was basically its downfall uh, they're really small and fiddly d-pad here the action buttons are uh, number buttons here on the phone and uh, of course the screen which is vertical which is almost unheard of in games and it does, doesn't really lend itself to a lot of game genres uh, it did have uh, more power than the Game Boy Advance with 3D games and stuff like that, but it just uh, <laughs> just didn't didn't make it. And uh, I think to me the most crippling aspect of of the machine was uh, how you put in the games. You have to turn off the phone first, then take off the back panel, take off the battery and then take off the game that you had inside there put in another game replace the battery replace the back cover then turn it on and then wait for it to boot up and then you can play the game it's it's mind boggling that uh, you know some people had uh, <laughs> did get did, did get paid for uh, designing something like this uh, of course they uh, did uh, release uh, Engage QD an improved model which had better buttons and uh, the game uh, slot was uh, on the outside of the machine but it was a little too uh, a bit too little too late the damage had been done and people had basically moved on from the Engage uh, but still it did get uh, 55 games released for it, so uh, a pretty decent game library for a flop like this. And uh, actually, this video is about uh, showing off those games as I just finished uh, collecting all the games for the Engage. Of course, as a uh, Finnish gamer, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's it was a fun little task to collect them all as of course Nokia is a Finnish company and there were a few Finnish uh, games uh, uh, released for the Engage uh, mainly from Red Lynx uh, that have since gone to great heights with their Trials uh, um, uh, franchise and other games as well now let's take a look at, uh, uh, at the game, uh, games themselves here. Here we have Asphalt, uh, Asphalt Urban GT and the games look like this when opened up. The game cards are here, or memory cards are here, and uh, each, uh, each uh, European release has this little pamphlet here, and uh, each uh, uh, game case also has this little uh, case for two two engage game cards. Uh, <laughs> really a waste of plastic here, but it's it's a cool little set that uh, that's included in in every game. Uh, I also have a couple of these gold master review kits, not for sale. It says here a press kit. So basically these were sent to the press uh, for them to review the games in advance. And uh, these look like this. Instead of a manual they have this small overview, reviewer's guide if you will. And uh, also a little CD-ROM that has uh, pictures and videos of the game for, for the magazines and uh, websites to do their reviews more easily. These are pretty uh, widely available. Uh, Nokia did uh, quite a bit of uh, promoing for for the machine and sent this out quite a bit. So you can uh, pick this up for quite cheap on eBay. And uh, yeah, it's it's fun to have have these in your collection as well. 
I really like the uh, cases here. They are actually, if I can take a uh, standard DVD case here, they are uh, exactly one half of the size of a DVD case. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's check out all the games that were released for the machine. Like I said, there were 55 of them. Uh, there were some uh, uh, unreleased games, uh, downloadable games, stuff like that. But these are uh, all the games that were released uh, in retail. So that's the full, col full collection to me. First up, Ashen. Uh, an FPS game. Uh, it's actually uh, pretty good uh, on uh, not <laughs> well not good but it looks good uh, to have an FPS game on a vertical screen but it doesn't play as well you know you can't really see on on the sides so uh, you have to you have to keep keep moving in order to see what uh, what's on the left and right then we had the uh, asphalt urban GT one and two. Some retro Atari Masterpieces Volume 1 and Volume 2. So just a collection of uh, 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 arcade games and also games for the Atari 2600. Bomberman, lots of classic game series, had their own installments on the Engage. Uh, plays pretty well. Call of Duty. Uh, this is the first Call of Duty and it was actually released on the same time as it was released on consoles and uh, PC. And uh, yeah, Engage was uh, was was up there with uh, with the newest um, uh, newest releases. Of course, this is a uh, quite a bit a uh, different game that uh, was on the PC, but still cool that Engage got its own Call of Duty. Catan, uh, based on the board game Settlers of Catan. Civilization, classic. It's actually uh, almost playable on the Engage, as it's uh, uh, a turn-based game. You don't have, you don't have a hurry to do anything with the poor controls. You can just take your time. Colin McRae Rally 2005 Crash Nitro Kart was on the Engage as well uh, this is quite interesting The Elder Scrolls Travels Shadow Key so released after Morrowind the third Elder Scrolls game uh, this is actually an open world game uh, 3D uh, and all uh, first person RPG it's, it was a really, really ambitious project, and uh, no, it doesn't play well. The <laughs> uh, the uh, draw distance is is one of the poorest you're, you've ever seen. It's it's like perpetual night and fog wherever you go. But still, it, it it's really, really cool game on the Engage to have, and a quintessential game to own if you own an Engage to have one of these as well. So part of the experience. FIFA Soccer 2004, also known as FIFA Football, uh, outside of the US. Uh, FIFA Football 2005, actually have two of these, one opened and one still sealed. Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. Glimmerati, now uh, this is one of the Finnish games developed by Bugbear, uh, who are I think most known for their Flat Out uh, series and racing games in particular. Then High Seas, uh, made by Red Links, and uh, this is actually pretty decent. Um, well, a clone, if you will, of uh, Advance Wars, and uh, really one of the best games on the Engage. Uh, really a class class act and again a turn-based game so uh, easy to play on the engage and uh, fits uh, the vertical 
a screen quite well and uh, yeah plays really nice unlike this the King of Fighters Extreme now think about a fighting game on a vertical screen uh, it's <laughs> yeah it, it really takes some takes some fitting to have uh, two fighters on a or smaller vertical screen but yeah this one attempts it at, at least doesn't go that well but more soccer Marcel Desa Marcel Desailly pro soccer and then another one uh, still sealed sealed games are really inexpensive when they engage plenty of them floating around mile high pinball another one uh, that's uh, really well suited to the vertical screen of the engage MLB slam baseball game Moto GP Uh, NCAA Football 2004 1 Gold Master Review Kit here and a sealed game here Fighting game Operation Shadow Pandemonium uh, Classic um, platform game uh, again one of those uh, few that uh, are suited well to the vertical screen here of course you don't know where you're going but uh, there are lots of uh, vertical levels in pandemonium uh, lots of jumping uh, high jumps so it's okay on the end gauge then pathway to glory widely accepted as the best game or the best game series on the end gauge again made by Red Lynx so they really did uh, Nokia lots of favors on the end gauge and then this is a turn-based uh, war game top-down perspective uh, strategy uh, game basically where you control a, a group of soldiers and uh, try to uh, uh, fulfill missions it's a really really nice presentation great uh, music sound effects uh, it's a really nice and greedy game and uh, uh, still still I think there are some people who would like uh, another pathway to glory game and on bigger consoles so lots of fans uh, with that game series also there's a sequel pathway to glory Ikusa Islands got here a gold master review kit and the regular version as well uh, a different different covers here and that's that's interesting pocket kingdom on the world by Sega this is actually a, a fun little game it's basically an MMO game uh, but uh, yeah there was um, uh, there was some um, uh, online gaming on the engage as well and uh, uh, it did gain some popularity with uh, with the owners of the owners of the machine, but naturally didn't rise to any uh, significant uh, um, heights. Puyo Pop and uh, Puzzle bu Bubble Versus, of course, puzzle games are. Uh, uh, nicely suited to uh, a vertical screen as well. Rayman 3. Now this isn't a 3D game. It's a um, classic 2D platformer. Unlike the other Rayman 3 games that were released on other consoles. Red Faction. Another sealed. Another opened first person shooter again Requiem, Requiem of Hell Rifts uh, Promise of Power and The Roots Gates of Chaos 
some pretty decent um, action RPGs here. Then we have Sega Rally, which is the rarest game on the Engage. It was only released in Australia and Brazil, but it is a full retail release. And uh, it's also the uh, most expensive game on the Engage. Super Monkey Ball. SSX Out of Bounds. Snowboarding. And then some Splinter Cell games. We got a Chaos Theory and Team Stealth Action. Spider-Man 2 and Sonic N. Now if there's uh, if there's one game that really isn't suited to the vertical screen it's this. Uh, this is a 2D Sonic game with all its speed and uh, uh, good times and uh, yeah you really don't know any anything about uh, which direction you're going what's what's up ahead of you Sonic just keeps running and then you smash into things uh, the vertical screen shows you nothing in advance so this was really a bad idea to bring the day gauge the sims busting out again there's really all of the uh, basic uh, game series are on the Engage, so they really did their best to court developers to bring their uh, classic series uh, over to the console. System Rush, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004, EA was on board heavily, of course. Tomb Raider starring Lara Croft and this is the first Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider game uh, 3D uh, gameplay and all. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Virtua Tennis Worms World Party Warhammer 40,000 Glory in Death WWE Aftershock Xanadu Next This is a pretty interesting game made by Falcom and uh, it's actually a pretty uh, late um, installment into the Dragon Slayer series uh, and there are uh, Faxanadu on the NES is part of that series as well, so uh, many many uh, games in the series and one on the Engage as well. Great little role-playing game. X-Men Legends and finally X-Men Legends 2 Rise of uh, Apocalypse. And that's it, uh, all 55 games released uh, in retail for the Nokia N-Gage. I'm glad to have them all, it's uh, part of Finnish gaming history, of course. And uh, yeah, most of the games are uh, really inexpensive, only a couple of dollars or so. So it's, it's uh, not uh, that big of a feat to collect them all, but of course there were a couple of uh, quite rare games, valuable games that uh, were there uh, to spice things up so all in all it was a pretty nice system, system to collect every game for and uh, I'm glad uh, I got them all now and uh, got though to show them off to you and there were a couple of decent decent games there not all were all were uh, hindered by the um, hardware of the Engage it was a uh, and still is a quirky little system and uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think that Nokia will be attempting another standalone um, system nowadays. But it was a nice, nice little blast in the past for them to, for them to uh, try uh, something out with physical game media and stuff like that. But 
times have changed with um, mobile gaming now, but still, the engage endures. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.